All right, guys, so we're at the Miami-Dade County Second Chance Job Fair here at the General Library in downtown Miami. And we're gonna check it out. We have to fill out a form. We gotta fill out this registration form to get into the job fair. So we're gonna go in there right now. Like I said, we're in the public library here in Miami-Dade County. Check it out. Yes, I can. First Amendment protected activity. And the rules of the library don't prohibit it. This isn't my first time. Okay. You can't film other people. Yes, I can. You don't know the law. Yo, where's the job fair at? Thank you. All right, guys, we're at the Miami-Dade County job fair. Second chance. Yo, what's up guys? How we doing? Hey, how's it going? This is Miami-Dade Human Rights and Fair Employment Practices. Yes. So you guys are offering jobs to ex-felons right now? What we're doing right now is providing information to the community, those individuals that feel like they've been discriminated against, whether it's housing, public accommodations, or employment, they can contact our office. We'll be able to provide services for them to make sure that their rights are restored. All right, this is the website, guys. My apologies. All right, guys. I'm gonna take some candy if y'all want. Thank you. Take a pen. Thank you. Have a good day. Guys, look who we found. Miami Dade Police Director. What's up, Police Director? How you doing? Sir, how you doing, man? Good to see you, hey, man. How's everything? Thank you. Thank you for covering this today. Antonio, right? Rafael Antonio. Huh? Rafael Antonio. Rafael. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming today. Right. Thank you for covering. This is a wonderful opportunity. Here we are right now, working with our U.S. Attorney's Office. This is a great program. You and they put off campus like this. This is how people, you know, unfortunately, sometimes people make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes as human beings. And so this is a wonderful opportunity now because organizations like this give you the ideas how to interview for a job. How to, how, to, how to interview for and how to actually apply for jobs, right? All right. And more importantly, how to get back on your feet. Because unfortunately, when you come out of jail, you're not really sure what to do, right? And it's very overwhelming. So it's great that we have organizations like this. That's why I love to partner with this, with organizations like this, because they tell you or they give you a look on how to. All right. You need to get back on your feet. They give you, they give you uh, free food. Right to get you back in your feet. Right, we want to make sure that when people come out of jail, and this is provided by the Southern District of Florida. Yeah, this is the United States Southern District. But of but, but but why is this a job of, of the courthouse across the street? What was that? Why is this a job of the courthouse across the street? Well, because this is about a community. We're all about one community, right? So we all want to make sure that we're all together. And so everybody has a solution. Everybody has a, a role to play in making ourselves the best versions of, of ourselves. So. Yo, we love listen, we're I, I'm suing a few of your officers in this same court. Do you guys, are you guys ready to make a settlement? I can't speak to that. We have attorneys for that, but you know, like, like I said, you know, we support everybody always coming forward and bringing to our attention, you know, items of concern and, uh, you know, working professionally. And that's why, you know, your role is very important because you're a citizen of the United States of America and we always want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity uh, to come forward and, and help us become better. So I'm going to just right. ask you to try to make professional compliance a little bit better because I feel they're protecting bad cops here in Miami-Dade County. I appreciate that. Thank All right, guys. Much. We're here with the Director Perez. Thank you. I'll see you around, man. We got another gold badge. What's up, brother? How you doing? All right, guys. We're here at the Miami-Dade County Second Chance Job Fair. It's a job fair for felons. They help you get housing. For some reason, there's a bunch of cops here. They're, they're the ones that make people felons and, and, and now they want to act like they care about everybody. We got this guy who's all in the LGBT mafia. So, 
Thank you for protecting my rights. All right, guys, let's try to get a job. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, let me ask you a question. I'm a felon and I'm addicted to drugs. Can I get a job at Starbucks? Absolutely. If I'm addicted to crack, I can get a job at Starbucks. You can apply here to all of our offerings that we have right here for all of our benefits. You can apply online right here. All right, that's cool. And these are all of the, the applications and uh, programs that we offer at ASU online. All right, so I'm homeless. Can I use the restroom at Starbucks without getting in trouble? Absolutely. Absolutely, thank you so much. All right, all right, thank you guys. I love Starbucks. How are you? I'm doing all right. Good, good. You interested in working for my county? I, I want to be a cop. But I'm a felon and I'm hooked on drugs. I hear you. Oh, I want to be a cop, but I'm a felon and I'm hooked on drugs. Well, have you spoken with the chief officer? Yeah. You talked to the correction people too? They told me it's not a problem that half the cops are addicted to drugs. Okay. Yo, officer, how, how many drug tests can a cop fail before he gets fired? Oh, I have no, uh, that you're going to talk to uh, the people that deal with media. Okay. You all right? The public information officer. Public information thank officer. You, thank you, you thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, this is a job fair for felons. Lady, criminal division, what do you do for criminal division? Well, I'm out on bond right now. Can you help me? I don't know. I got to meet with the public defense. All right. I'm looking for a job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not joking, guys. I'm out on bond. Oh, the Florida Department of Corrections, probation and parole. How you doing, ma'am? Yo, so the Department of Probation and Parole is hiring felons right now? Yeah, it's too loud over here, guys. Whatever, I'm, I'm going to take a cup. Thank you. Florida owes me this shit. All right, what's your position, man? I'm a community education specialist. All right, all right. You never heard of Raggo Monkey? Uh, never really. All right. Yo, if I'm a felon, I can get a job with the department? If you can get a felon with a job department, that may be a question that's early for one of the people in a brown shirt. So if you find the people in a brown shirt, they'll be able to help you. Brown shirt. I already yeah. talked to them. And the answer was what? I didn't get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I know a lot of felons in the department, so I was just fucking with them. Yeah, I understand. I'm going to say necessarily, like I said, ask necessarily one of the brown shirts because we're not HR. So. I, like, I like it when you call them brown shirts. There you it, go. it fits perfectly. There you go. All right. Thank you, man. I'm going to take some of this stuff. All right, guys. Look at what we got here provided by the police department. Our tax money at work. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all this stuff I get for free. Bam. Give me this. Listen, I'm homeless and addicted to drugs. What can you do for me? What can I do for you? Yeah. We can try to get you into a drug treatment center or one of the shelters. All right. That sounds good. Is, is that all the services that the Homeless Trust provides? We put you in touch with the organization that can best help you. Okay? You okay. have one of these issues, you call this number. Now, let me ask you a question. The Homeless Trust, that means they get money from private companies, right? No. No? They get money from the county. From Miami-Dade County, okay. Yeah, the county. To help homeless people. Okay, thank you for your help. Do you mind signing this for me? I'm not homeless. I was just asking questions. <laughs> thank you. How you doing? How's everything? Sorry? How's everything? How you doing? <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to find a job, right? But I have two issues. What? I'm a felon and I'm addicted to crack. What? I'm a felon and I'm addicted to crack. Okay. Okay. Let, let me tell you. The company in Williamsburg, we work with company that need a clean background. But, but this is a job fair for felons. I don't have a company to work with. 
Okay, okay. Can I have one of these? Thank you so much. You, you mind stamping this for me? Thank you. Yo, how you doing, ma'am? Hello. So you, you guys work with aquatics, the swimming school? But let me tell you something. I'm a felon and I'm addicted to crack. Can I get a job at the swim school? Well, you would have to go through a drug screening and a background check. Okay, okay. So if you pass it, then you can work. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. I just wanted to make sure that you guys don't hire felons to work with children. Because oh. I don't, I don't, I think that's wrong. No, no, no. All right. All the but uh, I'm happy you said you have to yeah, go through the background check. <laughs> Because that gentleman over there, I told him I'm addicted to crack, and he said yes, you can work with heavy machinery. I'm like, are you listening to yourself, buddy? Thank you. <laughs> ladies, ladies, how we doing? Yo, ladies, can I ask you a question? How much are they paying y'all to stand around and do nothing? Mafia Dade Police Department. What's up, bro? Yo, you guys hire felons? Say that again? You hire felons? Yes. I'm out on bond. Do you hire me? Say that again? I'm out on bond at the moment. Yeah. All right. So what do I got to do? I got a job. Just, go, just come here to the office. Hire On that address. All right, all right. And with your ID and social, and you, you can get hired the next day. You can go to work. You can get paid the same day that you go to work. All right, let me get some candy too. Yeah, no I'm kind of. You guys hire homeless people? Yes. All right. All right. Okay, as long as you have your ID and social, you're good. I'm addicted to drugs. You hire me? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Have a good one. Hey, I, I, I have a question. How much does this event cost the taxpayer? I don't know the answer to that. All right. All right. All right. All right. How we doing guys? How's everything? I got one of those EBT cards too. Yes, if you get food stamps, Medicaid, or any type of government assistance, you can qualify for a tablet. How much I gotta pay for the tablet? $10. It's a one-time fee. You don't have to pay monthly. All right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But I gotta sign up and all that? I just can't give you the 10 bucks? If you got your ID, and the system is gonna verify if you qualify. All right, all right. Maybe later. I'm a little busy at the moment. Guys, I'm homeless and I'm addicted to drugs. Do you mind stamping this so I can get some free lunch? Guys, if I'm addicted to drugs, can I get a job at the public library? No? All right. Thank you, guys. You heard me. Really interesting because most of the most individuals here are either trying to Hey, how's it going? to meet my public defender and she can't meet me until June 15th which is the same day that I have court so what can I do about that you can call me in the office and I'll be happy to uh, connect you with the secretary or the lawyer but you can't connect me with my attorney I'm sorry you can't connect me with my attorney I'm working a, a, a community here I mean like okay so what is the public defender's office doing here today? I can't barely hear you. I'm very sorry. What's the public defender's office doing at this community event? What services are you providing today? We are helping people determine whether they qualify for seeing or expungement of records. Okay, can you expunge my record that got dismissed? Do you, you obviously have open cases if you're looking for your public defender, so you don't qualify. 
So if I have an open case, I can't get a, a case sealed or expunged. No. I have to close my case first. And see what happens to that case. No, but I want to seal another case that's already dismissed. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. The law doesn't allow you to okay. have open case All right. or you use fines and fees. Can I have your name and your position from Miami-Dade County? Sure. My name is Sofia Montenegro. I'm the Community Liaison at the Public Defender's Office. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a public records request for your information. I can't hear you. What are you saying? Oh, I'm going to do a public records request for your information, for your pay stub, for your email. Okay, sure. Sure. Right. Absolutely. Thank you. Yo, can you stand my thing right here, please? What do you mean? You work for the government and I pay your salary. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. You should be. You're a I government am. employee. Be I professional. Am. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. For I, can can I can file a complaint on you for what you just said right now. What would I that have mean? it on camera. Okay. Thank you. So be professional, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am. I tried to file a complaint with the with the state attorney's office several times, and they refused to return my call or they refused to take my complaint. What can I do about that? Uh, I can refer you to our criminal intake division. Because Those are the people that refuse to take my complaint. Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you. What, what's your name and position for Miami-Dade County? I, I don't work for Miami-Dade County. I work for the state of Florida. Oh, so what's your name and your position? It's Jody Rivera, and I'm the Senior Human Resource Administrator. Senior Resource Administrator for the State Attorney's Office? Okay. I think Catherine fernandez Rondo is a corrupt person that needs to be arrested. Thank you. Can you sign my thing so I can get free lunch? Why not? Why not? I'm sorry, that's not what I'm here for. I pay your salary. Will she sign my thing? I don't know. You'll have to ask her. You're the senior resource administrator, and you're not going to sign my document no, so I can get free lunch? That's not what I'm here for, sir. What are you here for? I'm here to recruit. Recruit who? People that need a job. Oh, okay, okay. I, I need you to file my complaint. <laughs> How you doing, ma'am? How's everything? How are you? I was just explaining. I was grieving to her. I'm very disappointed with the state attorney's office especially the Miami-Dade State Attorney. Um, do you mind signing this so I can get free lunch? <laughs> is that what this card is for? It is. Okay. Thank you so much. Ah, she's doing amazing. But, um...